again, it's Patrick Mullader, candidate for U.S. Congress in Indiana's 5th District. The open U.S. border is awful for many reasons. It costs each taxpayer $1,000 a year. However, an aspect that no one seems to talk about is what a class, discriminatory, and racist policy the open southern border is. What makes it racist and discriminatory? Overwhelmingly, the new migrants are younger men with lower levels of job skills. They currently are, and will continue to be, stealing entry-level jobs away from our most vulnerable U.S. Blacks, Hispanics, and Whites. People that are starting their climb up the economic ladder. And those migrants will hold wages down for U.S. workers for years to come. Communities of color are also being robbed of earmarked funds as their monies have been diverted to the flood of immigrants. Where is AOC fighting for Hispanics? How come the Congressional Black Caucus isn't raising hell? Good questions. They've sold out their people. Blacks in South Chicago, though, have figured this out. Watch this. This is about our people demanding the resources just as you've given these people, these newcomers who are walking into this country. How do you take a new group of people that have paid no taxes, can't vote, and you put them in front of the voters? So we're going to show you how, how we feel about the Democratic National Convention. Turn it up. Thank you. If you think you're going to have a peaceful Democratic National Convention in the city of Chicago while our people are starving, That's right. stay tuned. Yep. They know they've been sold out all right. Of course, the white Dems and GOP members in Congress are sellouts too. Some might feign outrage about the wide open border, but they are happy to deliver their big money donors a cheap labor source. Please consider getting involved in our campaign and or donating to help us achieve victory. You can give as much as $3,300, but even $10 helps advance our cause. Please go to PatrickMforCongress.com to learn more. Thank you so much, and have an amazing day.